Hi everyone, N2CUA uh, here, Randy. Um, just a little playing around here and decided to do a video on the possibility of using your Rigel DSA 815 Spectrum Analyzer as a signal source. Now, it doesn't have to be the most accurate signal source because uh, in the other videos um, I think I've shown that the output of the tracking generator is not what you would call ruler flat, <laughs> which is fine because there's also software on the analyzer to normalize that <clears throat> and compensate for that, which is fine when you're using it as intended for a spectrum analyzer. However, it doesn't mean that you couldn't still use it for a signal source for troubleshooting, etc. So what I'm going to show you is a way to, to get a fixed frequency out of the analyzer and use that for a source. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to use 100 megahertz because I also have a DSA, or correction, a DS1102E Rigel oscilloscope and the, the top end of my oscilloscope is 100 megahertz. So I'm going to use 100 megahertz for my single frequency. But what you would do is take the um, spectrum analyzer and um, go to span and then hit zero span. So there basically is no sweeping of any frequencies. There's no span. So whatever frequency you put in when you do that, um, the center frequency, the start frequency, and the stop frequency all become whatever that frequency is. So basically it's, you know, what frequency you enter is the frequency you're on. So I'm going to put in 100 megahertz. And <coughs> I'm going to turn the tracking generator on. Okay. And then I'm going to move the camera and show you. I don't know if I can just turn it over there or not, I don't think I can, so I'm going to just pick it up and move it, so forgive. This is the DS1102E. Um, I got a bit of glare there, let's see if we can get rid of the glare. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says that the frequency in the lower left hand corner, um, down here, frequency is 100 megahertz. So it's a fixed frequency, the waveform is not moving or jumping around, so um, that's what I've done. Now I can change it. I guess I'll punch in, like, uh, say, frequency, uh, and I'll enter, I don't know, like 50 megahertz. Okay, and the frequency changed to 50 megahertz. And if you look down at the bottom there, it says 50 megahertz. So, <coughs> point being that you could use the spectrum analyzer for a, uh, a fixed source of, a, you know, like a frequency generator kind of a thing. The only catch is there, if you're going to use it for testing sensitivity of one of your ham rigs or something like that, you know, the output of it is minus 20 dBm roughly, and that's like equivalent to plus 40 over S9 or something. It's like way up there, so um, you'd have to put attenuators in line with it and all that, and it's not perfectly accurate, but if you wanted to get close, say, you know, is my receiver fairly sensitive, you know, and you're down to like a, you know, point 0.2 or half a microvolt, or at least you think you're close to that with some attenuators hooked onto the output, you know, I mean, you could go, you'd have to have like 100 dB of attenuation on the output of this thing. Uh, with it at minus 20 to get yourself down into the range to where you'd be testing sensitivity on a receiver. Not exactly a communications service monitor quality, you know, uh, signal as far as being really accurate as the level to the level of the signal. But hey, it's still usable. You could have fun with it that way. And uh, so anyway, that's what I'm going to show you, or what I showed you rather. And my battery is dying on my camera, so. That's it, seven threes. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next video.